G'day guys, I am Biggest Kev and welcome to my channel. Today I've received some mail. I've got a box of rocks from Gavin and I've got some some goodies. I've got some a box full of goodies here from Prospecting 101, Mr. Gold. He's uh, kindly sent me some some um, prize well some presents that I can use to give to you guys um, yeah so what I'll do we'll open up Gavin's box firstly thank you very much Gavin for sending me this this parcel of rocks mate appreciate it and prospecting 101 mr. gold thank you for sending me all these presents it's um it's like Christmas every day for me yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll put all the presents, Mr. Gold's presents over here. I'm going to open that box uh, later on. Now, we'll open up Gavin's box first and see what Gavin sent me. Might be a big box of gold nuggets. Better just tilt the camera down, you probably can't see what I'm doing. Okay, it's not rocks. It's a big bag of pay dirt. There it is. A big bag of pay dirt from Gavin. And he sent me a letter. Biggest Kev. Okay. Hey Kev, I finally got out prospecting. Back to my hit and miss creek. Oh, well done mate, you got one over there as well. I collected two and a half buckets of quarter mesh samples. One for you and one for me. Mine wasn't so great. Ha ha. Hopefully yours will be better. Thanks so much for the agate you sent uh, me and all the other cool stuff. Stay safe, enjoy, and I look forward to watching more of your videos. Thank you very much, Gavin. I appreciate it, mate. Cool. Put that over there. Okay. I'll set up the panning station. I've got to sieve it out. And um, yeah, and then we'll pan it out, eh? And we'll see how much gold we get. Right, I'll be back shortly, guys. Okay, I've got my tea strainer, so I'm just classifying it all out. And um, yeah, it's really gravelly stuff. So hopefully, we'll get a bit of gold out of this. It'll be good. So I'll just classify this, get all the fines, and then I'll put the oversize over here. I'll hang on to the oversize, and I might, um, I'll probably pan the oversize out. I won't worry about crushing it, because it's just gravel from the, from the, uh, the, the river that Gavin's um, got this material from. So, I'll just um, I'll just pan uh, yeah pan the fines and then I'll pan the oversize and that's it. Oop. I've contaminated the fines, guys. I've spilt some of the the gravel out of the sieve. That's not good. Okay. I'll finish doing this guys and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Hand number one of Gavin's material. Hopefully we'll get a we'll get a few nice specks of gold out of this material, that'll be good.
Yeah, I've got, um, as you guys know from watching my videos, I've got quite a quite a bit of mail recently. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just keeps coming. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, I appreciate you guys sending me this stuff and uh, what I don't keep I'll give away, I'll give back to you guys I'll have to ask um, Gavin what river he got this from or if it was just a creek Okay. Okay, guys. Let's see if we get any gold. Show us the gold. I can see a piece. <laughs> I can see a piece of gold, guys. A couple of pieces. A couple of pieces up the back. And some fine stuff. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's, it's, can you see it there? Right in the back of the pan here. There's two, one one decent spec and there's a couple of real fine ones here. Yeah, cool. I'll get me stuffer and I'll stuffer them up. I'll come back uh, with another pan, guys. Okay, pan number three. And yes, gold in each pan, guys. Fine gold. Um, Another couple of pieces, you can see them. So that's cool. Yeah, a couple of uh, biggish pieces that you can see in the pan and some fine material as well. So, very good. Thank you very much, Gavin. Looks like Gavin's hit and miss creek is better than my hit and miss creek. Maybe I'll have to pay Gavin to send me over some a few more kilos of this stuff. I'll get you to sieve it out for me, Gav. So you don't have to worry about paying for the cost of the gravel. Unless, of course, there's some nuggets in the gravel. I never thought about that. I'll soon find out when we pan it. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can get some big pieces out of this pan, guys. couple of nice specks I can see a um, a gemstone only small little gemstone looks like olivine there's a nice piece of gold guys that's the sort of size of gold I used to get out of, out of my hit and miss creek here yeah that's a nice little piece sweet I'll get back to yours with another pan guys Check out this guys, the very next pan. See that piece of gold? That's a rip snorter. Okay, I'll get back with the next pan. Okay, pan number five. And uh, yeah, that was pan number four. I've got that big flake. Yeah, that was cool. Hopefully I'll get a few more of those. Yeah, beautiful. Good thing about uh, when you're panning this sort of stuff, you just you never know what you're going to get in each pan. A bit the same but when you when I crush the rocks and pan it out, you just never know what's going to be in there.
Okay, let's have a look guys. See if we can get a monster in this pan. <laughs> Just like the creek that I go to. You get you get the gold and then you get nothing. Unreal isn't it. I can see some fine, very fine uh, specks at the back here. So I'll stuff them up. Okay guys, I'll get back to this with the last pan. Okay, pan number six and the last pan of the fines guys. Then I'll um, I'll pan out the oversize in so we get see if we'll get any nuggets out of the oversize. Very easy material to pan too, this. The river sand. It's just like the stuff I get out of the Hit and Miss Creek here. Not much black sand in this material either. Okay guys, let's have a look. The dregs of the bucket. Maybe there's going to be a big, big piece. I can see a couple of pieces. I see a couple of pieces, guys. I don't know if you can see them at the back of the pan. Can you see the gold at the back of the pan there, guys? I'll empty the stuff a bottle out anyway, and I'll show you. When I finished, yeah, cool. I'll get back to this with the oversize. Okay, pan number one of the oversize. I'm just going to pan it straight back into the tub, guys. I'm not going to worry about it. If um, if I do it right, then I, I can always separate it again and do it all again. Sometimes you'll get the uh, the fine stuff might have stuck to some of this um, gravel, so it'll wash off now in the pan. So there might be a chance I'll get some more gold in the bottom of the pan. We hope. Might get some bigger pieces. Gavin might have threw in a couple of couple of pickers for me. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get a big nugget. One speck. See him? One speck of gold just there guys. So it's worth it, it's worth washing the oversize because, yeah, see, that, that's only a small speck. That would have, that should have went through the sieve, but it didn't because it was stuck to some of this gravel. Okay, I'll get back to this with another pan. Okay, pan number three of the oversize and uh, the second pan, now I've got nothing in it. So it's only that, the first pan I've got one speck, second pan nothing. And we'll see what we get in the third pan. See if we can get a speck of gold out of this one. Or a nugget. A nugget. And, uh, Stay to the end of the video guys because I've got some stuff to give away. Um, I don't know who I'm going to give it to yet, um, but uh, it's a box full of um, presents. 
sent to me from Mr. Gold to give away to you guys. So stay tuned. Let's have a look guys, see if we can get a big flake. No, I'm not seeing any. No, not a single speck in that pan. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with the last pan. Okay. Pan number five of the oversize and nothing guys, nothing up for now, only that, that one speck in the first pan, that was it. Yeah. No big nuggets so far. See if we can get a nugget in this pan. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. See if we can get a, bit, a big speck. Get a nice big speck out of this pan. Nothing. I can't even see any small stuff. Any real super fine stuff. Yeah. Okay guys, I'll see you at the wrap up. I'll show you the show you the presents Mr. Gold gave me. I forgot to show you the gold. There it is guys. See all those little specks in the pan? Yeah, I'll um I'll dry this pan out and then I'll run the microscope over it and show you. Okay guys, wasn't that cool? Thank you very much Gavin. I appreciate that mate. Appreciate you sending me uh, the sand, the, the rocks you've been sending me and all the other stuff. And all you guys out there, you know who you are, for sending me material to process to make my videos. Yeah. Now, I've got a box of presents from Mr. Mr. Gold, I'll call him, his channel name prospecting 101 and he's a he's an awesome bloke um, if you don't know him get on his channel prospecting 101 um, he's helped me so much he sends me a lot of stuff as you guys do um, sometimes I think mr. gold goes over the top with the stuff that he sends me unbelievable you wait till you see the stuff he sent me and this is all um, G-O-W as they call it, giveaway. Here's a bottle. Now, that's an old bottle that Mr. Gold would have found um, when he was out prospecting in the bush. Yeah. I think, um, hey Gavin, do you want this bottle, mate? I know you collect them. Okay, he sent me a letter. Hi, biggest buddy. 
How's life in paradise? Pretty good, huh? Here's a box of goodies. Passing things out to your subscribers. Um, some GAWs, giveaways, to help grow your channel. Thanks very much for the marshmallow coasters. Your rock saw skills are exquisite. Thank you. Okay, I'll be closely following your YouTube work. Cheerio, Prospecting 101. Cheers. Thank you very much, Mr. Gold. Put that down there. Now, I'll just take everything out, put it on the table. This is a little statue. statue. Um, I think it's jade. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is jade. Okay. This is a bag of crystals. And I'll, I'll put them on the table and I'll open them all up so you can all see them all. So you can see everything. He sent me some different pieces of rock. Childproof. Okay, some more rocks. Cool. Check that. That's a nice little bit of crystal. Yeah, and there's all little rocks here. Hey, Mr. Gold, what's going on? That's the rock that I sent you, man. <laughs> he sent it back to me. There's a nice stone. In the sunlight, you can see all these little blue flecks in it. Cool. I don't know what it is. But it's a nice piece of rock. Okay. Here's a book. Murphy's Law and other reasons why things go wrong. Who can I send that to? Another piece of rock. Well, that's a cool piece. Banded iron, guys. Piece of banded iron. Cool. Some more books. This one's a guide to the fossils of the Jinjin chalk. I'm, I'm guessing Jinjin in Western Australia, but I'm not too sure. And this one here, I'm sweating. This one here is on 2J Gold. This would only really suit someone from Western Australia. So if you live in Perth and you want this, it's about the gold, the gold that was found in 2J in Western Australia, just north of Perth. Okay. It's got a big box in here, a, bottle, a box inside the box. Let's see if I can get it out. Good golly. Hang on guys, I'm going to have to tip it up. Okay. Oh, I know what that is. It's gold. Um, this here is some fine gold in some sand. Okay, I'm going to leave it in that. In that, it's you sticky taped it, and I'm going to give it away to one of you guys because all this stuff is Mr. Gold gave me to, to give away to you guys. So that's what I'll do. Now this here. I wonder what this is. Oh, I think I know. Okay. I don't know if you can read that. Um, it's 22 carat gold test acid. Now there's four bottles in there, so obviously each of them is to test a different uh, carrot 
uh, for the gold. Yeah, I have, I've seen these, I've seen videos on them and that, but I don't have one. But I don't really need one, guys, because I don't get enough gold. But, um, so that's what that is, guys. Uh, I don't really know enough about it, but basically, it's an acid tester, and there's a little, um, there's a like a sanding block in that box, and you and you scrape the gold, you scrape a line of gold on the block, and then you run the acid. You'd run, say, you want to test it to see if it's better than 22 carat. You run a a streak of that acid across the scrape, the um, gold scratch line on the on the stone, and if the gold disappears, it's less than 22 carats. If it stays, it's 22 or better. Basically, that's how it works in a nutshell. Um, yeah, so I'll bring this around here so I can show you a bit better of what we got here. Right. So there's one stone that he sent me. Here's that banded iron stone. Banded iron stone, red jasper, whatever you want to call it. That's a beautiful rock. There's a whole heap of little rocks here. This is actually quite nice. This is um this is a piece of iron. Um Hematite maybe because it's got see the red in it. I think that might be hematite. Yeah, I actually um, Polished this up for mr. Gold. He didn't like it. So he sent it back to me <laughs> There's another little a, a nice rock. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera But there's blue Sparkles in, in this stone. It's a beautiful stone. I don't even know what it is what it's called Maybe it's man-made. I don't know and there's all these other rocks here guys and the old tomato sauce bottle I think I'll send this one to Gavin as he, he collects them now there's a heap of crystals here what I'll do is I'll take photos of them all guys so you'll be able to see them a bit better there's some smoky quartz um, all just pieces of, of quartz crystals The Hulk, the Green Hulk. I'm pretty sure this is Jasper. Ah, not Jasper, sorry, um, Jade. I think this might be Green Jade, guys. If you're into this stuff, just leave a comment, guys. Um, and I'll have to try and pick out a winner. And this is a bit of sand and a bit of gold mixed in. I'd say it come from Western Australia. Is, um, that's where Mr. Gold hunts for his gold. So I'd say this is West Australian gold. You might see it. You might see it there. See it? Can you see it? Very fine gold in the bottom. Yeah. So um, I'll give that away to one of you guys. And the the uh, that the gold tester. The gold tester, guys. Who wants it? Leave a comment. It's all going. My wife won't let me keep it. She said I've got too much stuff now. 2J. I haven't even read this. Just pulled it out of the box in. I haven't read it. Scout's honour. And it's on 2J. And I can I can vouch for that. I've been to 2J and I've found gold. So I know there's gold in 2J. There's a book here. Um, on fossils. Where you can find fossils. In Jinjin, I think that is in Western Australia. Yeah, and uh, Murphy's Law, guys. Yeah. Anyway, I'll put photos up. Um, I've got some rocks here. I've really rambled on a lot here, haven't I, guys? I've got some rocks here for. Um, I've got to send these over to Shane. Shane in the Golden Triangle. I'll cut some rocks and polish them up for you, Shane. Just some rough bits of quartz and that that I've. I've um, cut and polished for you, mate. Uh, a bit of marshmallow rock. 
cut and polished. Yeah. And uh, an agate, mate. Yeah. Anyway, the blue is around here. They're giving me the wind up, so I better hurry up. Right. So, that's all the stuff Mr. Gold sent to me to give to you guys. How cool is that? He's a genuine guy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Gold. Prospecting 101. Put his name up here again. Yep. Uh, that's it, guys. I think that's all I wanted to say. Thanks, Gavin. Cheers, mate. I'll, um, I'll pick out some stuff and I'll send it to you, Gavin. Yeah. Um, I've sent out two more books, guys. One book to Mark and Allison in, in Canada. There's a book heading your way, one of those West Australian atlases. And also I've sent an atlas to Don in, in America. Um, oh, and I've forgotten his channel. Okay, I'll put his channel up here. He's got a gold mine in America. You got a book coming, uh, Don? Yeah. Okay, guys, I've rattled on enough. Cheers. Oh, it's warm today, surprisingly. Hmm, beautiful weather. Yeah. Okay, guys, stay safe. Take care. Thanks for subs subscribing and helping my channel grow. I appreciate you all. Okay, bye for now.